salutations on internet. Uh, I like the last one so much, I got another one. The reason I got this one is because it came with, you can see that, a Vortex. Alright. Yeah. The Vortex Viper Optic is included in this package. So, let's go through it again. Pretty much the same thing we got in the last package. Your paddle with a screw that screws into the holster that's included with the gun. Put your swab and brush for cleaning. Uh, warranty card. Now, here's the Viper stuff. Let's see what we got in here. Got a cleaning rag and booklet. So we'll put that over there. Manual. Again. Exact same gun. So and we got us a Century Arms joining the NRA, which I won't be doing that. Uh, don't really care for them much, none. Uh, seems like we got a CR2032 battery for the site. And then this one is in tungsten. Um, like I said, pretty much the mechanic optic included. Uh, learn more at Century Arms or Viper Vortex. So, go ahead and pull that out. Boy, that's a beautiful gun. They are pretty. I do like these. They seem, I mean, I like the way they feel. They fit my hand nice. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing as the last one, except it included when there's your trigger lock. Get that over there, of course. Uh, something I didn't mention in the last video, these holes, uh, as I got out and started playing with it more. And then there's the Vortex Viper RMR. I um, haven't never seen one up close, so let's take a look at it. Uh, yeah, nice little reticle. Um, sight seems pretty decent, but, um, I'm not sure how that'll translate. I do a discussion on all the reticles or RMRs. I've got four of them now. Uh, got another one I'll show you in the next video. Um, but this is this. But now they pretty much threw in a whole lot of stuff with this. Just, uh, you know, seems like a pretty decent package. If you can find it and there seems to be a lot of value on it i'd imagine these you can be had for maybe on the low side six ish uh seven should be able to find them for seven with that optic and i looked that optic up before i've got this and that optic is yeah it's going for a little over 200 by itself so as a package deal it seems like a pretty good deal that's where your screw holster goes in on your uh, waistband paddle and then she just slides in there and rides but uh, i'm not going to do a shooting video or a takedown because this one it's identical to the last one um i guess the takedown you know is pretty simple pull the tabs slide off the front pull your spring out pull your barrel out clean it but that that right there that's why i got a second one uh if that hadn't been included, I wouldn't have got it. I guess full MSRP on that optic is three twenty nine. I did see some places online who had it for two thirty ish. I think is where I've seen it. Uh, so I mean two hundred thirty dollars for this, you know, and then you get five hundred for this. I said, you know, I mean as a package deal, you can get them. I'd say roughly mid sixes, and I would definitely say if you can get it for the mid sixes go for it i don't see how you're going wrong because there's a lot of value in this you know again um i thought the side charging handle was very neat like if you wanted to use this as a race gun uh for ipsac or something uh uspca and um but there's the screws for your rmrs again your fiber optics if you want to change the color and there is a side charging handle right there. This screws in here. And there's also a screw on the other side as well, depending on which side you want to charge on. So that's, you know, that's a nice feature to be put into a gun. And it, it, it's already here. I mean, that's that's what I'm like, you know, man, this is, you know, this is, this is everything. 
uh, at this point. The one thing I noticed that I didn't like was from what I'm seeing here, um, there's no way to co-witness or have your worn sight on the back of these while the RMR is installed. And one thing I would like to say to Canik is, uh, since you can clearly see that, let me get that out of there. Since you can see right here, there's no screw hole for a side charging handle. So if you were going at it with open sights, but you wanted to add the charging handle, I do not believe there is a way to do that. I figured I would include that in this video, uh, just as something I noticed after shoots and final thoughts on the last one. Uh, but I liked it so much I got a second one, uh, just because I'm really appreciative of all the extra value that's included. Uh, it's not like most companies where, you know, you get a gun, maybe an extra mag or two, and then everything else you got to go out and buy to put together. So yeah, I, I, big props to uh, Century Arms for putting out this uh, Shinik, Canik, Canik, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, giving people uh, a lot of value for their money. And, you know, letting maybe people who would like to buy a race gun but really don't want to sink, you know, four bills into it, you know, buying the gun and then putting all the aftermarket parts on it. I mean, this thing, this one right here, yes, this one literally comes just ready to ride. I mean, literally, this thing's got everything except the only thing I see missing is the ability to put a side charging handle on while using the tactical sights. But if you're going to put the RMR on, no big deal. You can, you know, uh, have your RMR on, side charging handle. And then use it for a running gun. But as you can see on the cover here, $329.99 retail value. So again, I did spot it on the internet. I don't remember if it was eBay or somebody who had the, the Vortex Viper RMR optic for mid twos. Um, so we can't call it a full 330. You know, I mean, it could be had for about mid twos or mid to low end twos. But definitely a solid gun, I think, for the money. And something that if you're thinking about getting into competitive shooting, this might be a good way to open the door for most likely less than 700. So, but all right. Well, till then, we'll see you in the next video. Y'all keep shooting.